patience with others. I think that's a big topic we should talk about. Try not to get yourselves killed out there. That's what you want to get this for. That could be interesting. Like, because that's pretty big in reality things. It's really easy to get mad at people. It's really easy to get frustrated and not want to work anymore with a certain group or something along those lines. I definitely get that. But you gotta deal with it because the. Here's the number, especially when it comes to, to delegating um, certain things versus doing yourself. It's really like this. It's, if they can do it as 80% as good as you can, you should let them do it. That's definitely the number. It's, eight, it's about 80%. Especially with when you start getting into games, video games, there'll be a lot of times where you'll be like, why are they doing this? And you just gotta realize at some point you're at that level. You don't get too mad because it really can't be helped. Just at the end of the day, some people just aren't at a certain skill level. And you're gonna you're just gonna have to deal with that. Not everyone's there. Not everyone's ready to be the top killer, you know? Same in business, same in life. You're gonna have to get the, get the help and get the assistance of some people, and it's gonna be annoying. And you're gonna have to do some crappy stuff. And you're just gonna be like, "All right, how do I, how do I resolve this? How do I go in?" We gotta get to that point, guys. This isn't a death match, which I was definitely a fault of as well. Let's get on the point. What was that? Knock me down and I'll keep I said we, we're all playing team deathmatch. We gotta get on the point. Well, I was, anyways, and I saw people with me. And admit when you're at fault, especially when you're with other people, and they'll be much more willing to work with you. Quit till the fight's done. No one can hide from my it's, uh, sight. amazing how much people will be more willing to work with you <laughs> once you admit your faults, instead of trying to blame everyone. It's a move. Like this right here. Just this is a perfect example. I'm glad I did that on this game. I'm like leaning into it. I'm so into this game. I'm trying, I just want to win, but I claim this objective. You gotta be understanding that some people just suck at the game, or some people are good. And I don't know what my team's doing. Uh, it's very difficult at this moment. Like, it just. Are, I think what really coming down to I wouldn't make it might not be that good. The name's McCree. And uh, because of that, 
for paying for it here. And I, I think the characters that I need to win this game, uh, I'm not good at. So we're having kind of an issue there. I can't switch to someone with that. Yeah, I don't think my teammate can either. Yeah, you know, that's how you lose a game and we don't work together. Like I said, the big rule, if you're trying to just start a business or you're trying to, it's people trying to help you with something, if they can do it 80% as good as you can, let them do it. That's what it all comes down to. It's as simple as that. And if they can't, then you might say, hey, let's try to find you another role. Or if you really don't, you then like, I'm going to actually just do this on my own, okay? Let's uh, we'll skip it and we'll see if maybe we need you for something else later. It's about as simple as I can get. Just be patient with people. That's all it is. Just got to be patient. And anything with all the things, like, comment, subscribe, let me know on topics you want to talk about, and we'll do it.